Welcome back troglodytes to the Trogly's Guitar Show. Today I thought I would share a trip down memory lane with you troglodytes of when I used to be a produce manager. Now my very first job started as a carryout in a supermarket. From there I kind of rose up the ranks, eventually found myself in the produce department, and for some reason I just really liked it so I stuck around so long that I just became the manager of that department. Every year in I believe February, the Idaho Potato Commission does a contest where basically you just decorate a really cool display with potatoes and some of their other brands. I wanted to incorporate the two loves of my life the produce department, and Les Pauls. So I had this idea to create a stage inside of the store. Now this isn't a huge store by any means, so having quite this large of a display was a little bit out of the ordinary. Another main display point here is the big potato man that the produce manager before me built, but left behind. This is kind of an icon for the little kids that would visit the store because he would usually sit on top of some large coolers. But I thought in order to help him tie into this rock theme, I would try to make a slash hat and I put it on him. I then tried to make this look like the night sky and I put stars on the backdrop. And from there, I decided that the theme of this display would be Idaho potatoes will rock your taste spuds. So from there I just kind of built a stage and I brought in five Les Paul guitars in order to photograph this. Now to the front left is a 1987 Gibson Les Paul in a very nice aged alpine white finish. The next guitar you see I believe is a Les Paul classic gold top. However the next three guitars in the photo are actually very special. The one in the potato man's right hand is a Leo's Les Paul reissue. I believe that was the Kalamazoo made one at that point in time. Unfortunately the large picture doesn't really show off the top but that is a really cool and rare prehistoric reissue that was done for Leo's music. As far as the dealer runs go, the Leo's Les Pauls definitely had a lot more than like the guitar trader. The Les Paul in Potato Man's left hand is a zebra wood Les Paul. That's kind of a limited edition guitar built around the classic antique series. They have a crown logo on the headstock as well as a zebra wood top, which is kind of an exotic wood and no two of those look alike. I know my wife really liked that guitar and said the only way I can sell it is if I got top dollar for it. And the fifth and final guitar is my absolute favorite model, the Spotlight Special. That one was in very worn condition and it, I ended up selling it to a guy in Texas who then took it, changed some of the parts, claimed it was all original and was selling it for more. Then I'm not sure what happened to it but it ended up in another dealer's hands saying it was all original when in fact many of the parts had been changed. Now this Idaho potato contest was not only store wide, this chain of supermarkets had around 30 stores but it is also a nationwide contest where stores, depending on how many registers they have to judge their size, they all compete against each other with these displays. I won out of all the chief stores, but in the national contest, unfortunately, I only placed second. I was really hoping to get that first place win. So I hope you troglodytes enjoyed this story. That was a little bit of a trip down memory lane for me because you don't always see a Les Paul in the supermarket. Thank you troglodytes for watching and we will catch you tomorrow. Take care.